This is Reservoir Doug, sweary as fuck, with uh, a man with a swear word in his professional name. He's professionally known as Vlog Twat. So how are you doing, Mr Twat? <laughs> I right. guess you're known for short. I'm all right, thank you. AKA Juice, of course. Leave me alone, you're wasting my time. You bastard, <laughs> you're wasting time. <laughs> all the tunes that we've chosen are not shouty, I would say at this point, and also I would say at this point that if you are offended by swearing, quite clearly you're listening to the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, the track I'm going to play straight into the, uh, after this is called Chicken Town, which... Uh, I believe is like ultra banned as the song with possibly the most swearing in it of any song ever. Well, mine's called Cuff Dam by Happy Mondays, which read backwards means mad fuck. <laughs> Seems like a good a place as any to start this tune. <laughs> the fucking clubs are fucking wrong, fucking days are fucking long, the fucking connects you fucking down, every little bit chicken sound. So, yeah, um, fair allocation of swearing in that track. <laughs> it fucking was, it fucking was. I mean, we should just say for people listening who may not know you, like, you know, you've been in bands for a while and you've also got your vlog twat thing and the stand-up comedy thing, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, I think 1999 was our first gig, so it's been over 20 years on and off. Yeah. And yeah, Kill Disney was the first band when we were young and angry and it was punky and full of energy. You're still angry, you're just old. Yeah, definitely still angry. <laughs> and just older, yeah. So, um, for... I mean, it's possible that somebody listening has never heard of Vlog Twat, your alter ego. Yeah, well, Vlog Twat was born out of um, lockdown. I think I posted... Some of these podcasts, really. Yeah. So I was, one day, I was driving along and I think I went, hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work I go. Going to wash my hands so I don't kill my nan, hi ho. And I put it online and people went, that's brilliant. Please do more because we're sat at home doing nothing. Yep. And there's no need to encourage me to show off. No, everybody knows that. It's good to be creative. I think creativity can take many forms, but there's something about, it doesn't matter whether you're doing a podcast or a piece of music or some poetry or a drawing, it's, um, I kind of want to, without sounding too poncy about it, I do want to feel like I contribute to the world that I live in in some way. Yeah. Well, this is a great song called Vietnam, and one of the main lyrics is, turn on the radio, nah, fuck it, turn it off. 